everyone, it's Vanessa here and I'm the owner and founder of Lighthouse Kids Company and today for our Tip Tuesday video I wanted to talk to you guys about how to measure your baby's foot to find out what size they are in the Lighthouse Kids Company shoes. So let's get started. Okay, so a uh, few things you're going to need before you start measuring your baby's foot is you're going to need your baby. Hopefully they are not sitting like this. This is baby Lisa and she's our demo baby. Um, you're going to need um, a pencil or a pen, a piece of paper, and a little tape measure. I have like a fabric tape measure here, but you can also use any kind of tape measure that you have or anything like a ruler if you just write it down on a piece of paper. So um, Lisa here, I'm assuming, is a little size 2, um, but we're going to measure her feet and find out. So, okay, the first thing you want to do is you want to lay your baby down. And if they're really small and young, like uh, Lisa's about a three month old baby. So if they're really small and really wiggly, you want to make sure that they're in a set position where they're laying down so you can access their feet without much um, interruption. So I'm going to lay her down and pretend there's like a little change pad here. So laying her down. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take her little foot and put it on the palm of my hands. And what I'm doing by uh, doing this is creating a flat surface for her little foot to rest in. Now, baby's feet are a little different than adult's feet. Um, they're not quite as rigid. They're kind of round and really, really soft. So having your palm, the palm of your hand here kind of helps to give that edge. You can also put it against a hard surface like maybe uh, the top of a drawer or something like that that's going to help uh, even out that little heel. So I have Lisa's foot here. I'm going to put it against my palm and I'm going to give a little bit, let's say about three inches of this tape because I know her foot's going to be really tiny. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it on the palm of my hand and kind of lay the tape over her little feet. So I can see here that from the top of her toe all the way to the bottom here is about three inches. So she's about three inches long. Now, what you want to do is write that down so you don't forget. And I'm going to measure her foot side to side as well. So three inches long. All right, let's see how wide her little feet are. So her foot, I want to measure in the widest part of her foot, which is kind of right behind the toes and the ball of her foot. So she is about an inch and a quarter. So I'm just going to round out and go to an inch and a half. So I'm going to say inch and a half long. Okay. And now I want to measure the width from the bottom of the foot to the top of the highest part of the top of the foot. And that's just so we know um, approximately. It really doesn't have to do with the size chart, but um, I want to know just kind of uh, how much it lifts because if it's too high, then I can go up a size on her little foot. So I'm gonna measure it here. So she is approximately one and a half inches on the highest part of her foot here. So top to bottom, one and a half inches long. So her little foot is a little bit smaller than the smallest shoe that we carry, which is a size two. But you can see that the contour of the foot here is exactly like the contour of her little feet, which has that little hump on the top. The T-bars are actually really, really great because they are really flexible and soft here, so they'll kind of adjust to whatever um, height the foot is. So you don't have to worry about it with this shoe. This shoe, which is the little boy one, also has that little hump there. Um, but it is a little bit more substantial because it is kind of um, one piece instead of a little tiny t-bar strap it is a whole piece so for this shoe if you feel like her little uh, foot or his foot is kind of high on that top to bottom measurement then you can go a size up according to our size chart which I will link down below in the comments for you guys to see she would be a size 2 the size 2 would actually be a little bit big on her so let me try it on so this is the left foot. I'm going to open the little shoe and see if it fits. The width of our shoes are medium width, so you don't really have to worry about um, 
you know, having uh, wide or narrow feet, it's just a regular width. If you feel that your baby does have a wide foot, you can go up a size and they'll also wear it for longer. So that's a good thing. So yeah, so she is definitely a little size two. What I like to do, if you look at our size chart um, and your measurements, is I always go up a little bit. And there's two reasons for that. The reason is, is that it is gonna last a little longer. These are baby shoes, they grow so fast. And for a baby like Lisa, who is would be a three month old baby, she's not walking yet. So the shoe, um, you know, the more use I could get out of them, the better they would be, in my opinion. So um, I would have sized up, but for her, she's so little, her feet, her, her feet are like a size one. So the size two are fine. But let's say she was walking and you guys are right on the cusp or just right on the measurement, go up a size. Um, so here's what it looks like on baby Lisa. She has the little shoes on. So you see that it fits really, really nicely on her. Um, it really kind of gets that little heel right on there. Um, it has the little soft walker pads here. These are really important, you guys, because they're a soft shoe. They do bend, but they have a little grip, so it doesn't slide all over the place. Um, a lot of the other shoes that have a plain leather um, bottom here, what happens is, is as the baby is walking and the shoes are new, they tend to slip, especially if they're in regular surfaces like. Um, maybe marble or tile, it slips a lot um, until they kind of get it roughed up. So with these you don't have that problem because we put the little grippies here so the baby would actually have a little traction for them um, to catch on. So sizes 2 to size 5 have the little grip and sizes 5 to size 9 are going to have a hard sole. I'm going to show you guys the difference between a hard sole and a soft sole. Okay, so the hard sole is gonna be for older kids, for toddlers, it's gonna be for kids who are already walking, who don't need that soft flexibility on their foot. Um, the mocks and the leather that we use are still the same for both sizes. Everything's exactly the same except for the bottom of this is textured and it's not as flexy as the little ones. So you can see the difference here. So this is the little sizes. It's super, super stretchy. You can kind of bend the shoe whichever, which way to give the kids kind of a support, but at the same time, a nice, subtle um, kind of flex to their foot because their feet are not set yet at that age. Once they get to a size um, six and above, because they are older, they do need that protection, especially if they're going to daycare or to the supermarket with you. They're walking in real surfaces um, that are gonna probably, that maybe there's something on the floor that can harm their feet. You want them to have a harder sole. So that's um, what this is. Here's the difference. So yeah, so before you get them, you definitely wanna measure their little feet. I get a lot of questions about how to measure their feet. I always recommend having a little measuring tape, kind of putting their feet as flat as you can get it so you can actually get an accurate measurement. And then always, just for good measure, go up a size if they're really close. If they're really tiny and under, then go to the size that's most close to it. If you don't have time to measure your baby's foot, if you're on the go or if your baby is squirmy and doesn't like you messing with his foot, you can simply take a drawing of the baby's foot. So kind of put the baby's foot down Draw around it with your pen. And you'll have a kind of a crazy measurement there of the baby's foot um, just by having the drawing. And then you can just take your tape and measure it. And that'll still give you an accurate measurement from the biggest, uh, from the top to the bottom. So see, yes, I got exactly three inches long, which is exactly what I got up here. So that's a cheater way to do it. Um, faster, easier, especially if you have a fussy baby with you. So. I think that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe and we're going to come out with a lot of other topic videos for you guys every Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day. Bye!